So today I'm going to be sharing my top five favorite foundations for over 50. I have you covered in foundation, literally. I went through the gamut, full coverage, medium coverage, and the most skin-like, beautiful foundation for our mature skin. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm over 50 years old and I love testing out makeup and skincare products, everything from drugstore to high end and everything in between. And today I'm finally going to share my top five favorite foundations for over 50. I'm telling you, it's been a process. I didn't realize, well, yes, I did. How many foundations I actually have in my collection. I even decluttered a couple of months ago, maybe about 10 foundations. So yes, not only am I gonna share my top five favorite foundations, but this is also a collaboration with my really good friend here on YouTube, Marissa Russo. Now, she is over 50 as well. She has a channel that I definitely want you to check out. She is Portuguese, but she's based out of London. Now, she has a degree in chemical engineering, so she is super brilliant, super smart, very elegant, very well poised, unlike myself. Between the two of us, I'm sure you will find a fantastic foundation for your mature complexion. She does a lot of reviews on high-end makeup like Chantecaille, Lisa Eldridge, Natasha Denona, but she too has a channel for over 50 women. Definitely check out her channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm telling you, whittling it down to the top five was not an easy process. For the last several weeks, I've been pulling all of my foundations out and trying them every single day, writing down notes, what worked, what didn't work. I did not include tinted moisturizers or tinted hydrators because I already created that separate video. This is strictly foundation, strictly foundation. But the irony is, my number five pick for my favorite foundation for over 50 skin is actually a tinted moisturizer. I know, don't come for me, but this actually performs like a foundation. It is the NARS Tinted Moisturizer SPF 30. And the reason why this made both my tinted moisturizers, tinted hydrators, and my top five favorite foundations, it's because it covers like a foundation. It's hydrating, it's long wearing, long lasting. It really has beautiful medium to almost full coverage. When I put it on the other day, I was like, what? I remember wearing this particularly one day when we drove to Florida. I had it on for 12 hours. It was absolutely, it hung in there, man. It really did. And plus the fact that it has an SPF of 30 is even better. Now, before I put on any foundations or any sort of tinted hydrators or tinted moisturizers, I always prime my skin with, of course, if you know me by now, isn't that a song? I always prep my skin with the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. Now this also doubles as a makeup primer. It just provides such a glowy skin underneath any sort of foundations, whether it's full coverage, medium, or just a skin tint. I love how it's packed. Packaged. I have loved this so much. I'm in the shade Alaska Light 2. You can build it up from medium to almost full coverage, but the consistency is so light and airy, it's not heavy whatsoever, but it just covers the complexion so smooth, so beautifully, and it hydrates at the same time. Tinted moisturizer, right? So this would be super ideal now that it's getting super cold here in Tennessee. I love this tinted moisturizer but I think it performs like a foundation. This is absolutely number five in my book, the NARS Tinted Moisturizer. Okay, now this one snuck up on me. I've been loving the Tower 28 Beauty Sunny Days Sunscreen Slash Foundation. You guys, I was on the fence, back and forth. Is it a sunscreen? Is it a foundation? To me, it really is a fantastic foundation. It provides an SPF of 30, doesn't oxidize on your complexion, and it doesn't have that typical white cast. It is a beautiful formula. I love how it's packaged. It comes in 14 flexible shades, lightweight. It's super skin-like. It just lays beautifully on the skin. All I use is my fingertips to tap it in, and then I finish it up with a dampened beauty sponge. It doesn't streak, it doesn't oxidize on my complexion, and I'm in the shade Mulholland, but I seriously, have not been able to put it down. It's from Tower 28, the Sunny Days Sunscreen Foundation. My number three favorite foundation. You guys, I went back, I went way back. I went way back to some old videos when I was testing out some foundations and this one, oh my goodness. And yes, I absolutely love the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Plus Skincare. Now this comes in 40 shades. Oh, it doesn't have an SPF. Oh wait, I'm reading the French side. What's really unique about the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation Plus Skincare, it is supposed to improve the look of your skin 
in two weeks. I know those are pretty bold claims. That's what it says. It states it's water light, medium coverage, and a natural radiant finish. What I love about this, oh my gosh, when you find the perfect foundation and the perfect shade, do you tend to love it more because it just matches your complexion perfectly? I'm in the shade Light Warm 23, but I couldn't believe how smoothing it was, how lightweight it was, how skin-like it was. And the fact that it contains skin-loving ingredients to improve the texture and your complexion is just an added bonus for me. It comes in a pump. As you can see, it's very well loved. I'll show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. Oh, it's super hydrating, so soft. It just looks beautiful on the skin. I could not believe how much I love this. I'm gonna have to start using this again. But yes, this provides beautiful medium coverage, a natural finish, super skin-like, super beautiful on the complexion, and it doesn't settle into my fine lines. This is stunning. I love the fact that it comes in 40 shades. You'll be able to find your perfect shade. But yes, this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Plus Skin Care. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. When testing out all these different foundations, I did come across a couple of honorable mentions. Now, before I reveal my top two favorite foundations, I do have a couple of honorable mentions, but I have been really loving from KVD, the Good Apple Balm Foundation. Now, before you get scared, full coverage, yes. This is such a balmy, beautiful consistency. It's super unique because it is a balm. And the reason why I love it so much, it's so hydrating on the skin. It just glides onto your complexion. This will cover everything up. If you want something that's super full coverage, that's super hydrating, that's not gonna settle into your fine lines, the one thing that I remember when I was testing out this foundation, it looked better throughout the course of the day. It just kept improving, looking great, looking seamless, and still offering that full coverage. It doesn't budge, it plays great with cream products, powder products, but this is a stunning formula. If you're looking for something that's hydrating, that's full coverage, that's not gonna budge, that's gonna improve by the end of the day, I highly recommend the KVD Good Apple Foundation, especially if you have dry skin, you will absolutely love this. It's beautiful. And I'm in the shade Light 15. This is the perfect shade for me. It's so pretty, it's so hydrating, it feels great on the skin. The way I typically apply it is tap it onto my skin and I use a brush to apply it. You can use a sponge, but in my experience, I found like a really good brush. This is the It Cosmetics by Ulta brush the complexion brush, something with really tight bristles where you can just stamp it into your complexion, does beautifully. And look at that coverage. I mean, it is stunning. This is my honorable mention, the KVD Good Apple Balm Foundation. This one, this one, this foundation could have made it, could have made it in my top five, but it didn't. And I'll tell you why. It is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. It's beautiful. It's very lightweight, it's very skin-like. There's something about the formula where it just bounces the light off of your face. It makes your skin look luminous. It makes your skin look healthy. The caveat though, oh my God, the medicine dropper. Are you kidding me? It's messy, it's gloppy, it's sloppy. I get foundation all over my fingers, all over the bottle. L'Oreal, come on, change up the packaging. I mean, and look at that. Look how embarrassingly dirty it is. I don't know anybody else that likes a medicine dropper for foundation. If I'm in a hurry and I wanna throw something on quickly, I don't wanna to have to worry about cleaning up after myself. It's a beautiful formula. It's stunning on the skin, looks very skin-like, very luminous, but I hate the packaging. <laughs> Absolutely hate it. Okay, definitely honorable mention. You, you, you could have made it into the top five. You, you could have, but you didn't, oh well. Now, my number two favorite foundation. You are so gonna be shocked. I was shocked as well. It's from Walmart. It is the Profusion Cosmetics Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfector. This retails for $6.90. It contains hyaluronic acid, an SPF of 15, it has beautiful medium coverage that you can build up, also has a satin finish. It's vegan, it's cruelty free. You can find it at Walmart. It's kind of a thicker consistency, but it just, Wow, it just goes onto the skin, blends beautifully, lays on top of my skin, so nice. It's very skin-like, it doesn't add any texture to my mature skin, and it comes in 12 shades. I know, a limited shade range, yes, but 
If you're in Walmart and you see it, definitely check it out because it is a stunning, stunning formula. Now for my number one favorite foundation for over 50, did you guess? I think you did. It is the number seven Protect and Perfect All-in-One Foundation. You guys convinced me to pull the trigger on testing out this foundation and I absolutely love it. It is my number one, it is my favorite, it is my holy grail, and let me tell you why. It offers an SPF of 50, it's hydrating and anti-aging. What? So not only are you getting a beautiful medium coverage, but you're also getting skin loving ingredients as well. It actually includes ingredients from their number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced Serum, which is number seven's most effective anti-wrinkle technology. Anti-wrinkle? I didn't even know that. What, are you kidding me? It instantly perfects the appearance of skin, concealing blemishes and blurring the appearance of lines, wrinkles and pores while providing 24 hour hydration. Now I'll tell you what, it is beautiful on the skin. It's so skin-like, so hydrating. And the fact that it's age defying, the way I love to apply this is I take a little bit and I put it on the center of my face and I just begin to tap it out with my fingertips. I love using the heat of my fingertips to warm up the foundation so it goes seamlessly into my complexion. Now, if it does tend to get a little streaky, I do like to use my dampened beauty sponge just to tap it all over my complexion. It is beautiful, it is seamless, it's hydrating, it offers the perfect amount of medium coverage where you can still see your skin peeking through. It does blur, it doesn't settle into my fine lines. It's so hydrating and so comfortable and I can't say how skin-like it looks on the complexion. But the fact that it has skin-loving ingredients like their anti-aging serum, are you kidding me? This is a win-win in my book. Plus, it's affordable. You can walk into any drugstore and pick up this foundation. Affordable, accessible, it is my number one. The number seven. Number seven is my number one. But what do you think? Woo! So, if you've made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and letting me share my top five favorite foundations for over 50. I can't believe my favorite foundation, my absolute favorite is drugstore, affordable, accessible. The number seven man is my number one. After testing out so many foundations, and I mean so many foundations, that's the one I grab every single time with beautiful skin loving ingredients, beautiful medium coverage, super easy to apply. And the fact that it's affordable and accessible just makes it number one in my book. Number seven, you're number one in my book. And I can't wait to find out what Marissa's top five foundations are as well. But I'll have her link to her video down below in the description box. And let me know what your favorite foundation is. What is your go-to foundation? And is there a foundation that you want me to test out for us? And thanks again to Marissa for doing this collaboration with me. She's beautiful, she's elegant, she's classy. Definitely check out her channel. But in my next upcoming video, I've been testing out a lot of good drugstore makeup that I can't wait to share with you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you would be a part of my family. And in case you wanna hang out a little bit longer and check out some more foundation reviews, check out the playlist down here. And for skincare reviews, check out the playlist over here. But for now, mwah. Mahokita, I love you, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.